हेलो फ्रेंड्स 595 डेज ऑफ वॉर ऑन इजराइल पैलेस्टीन फ्रंट द डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ गाजा बाय द इजरायली कारपेट बॉम्बिंग इज कंटिन्यूइंग एंड आल्सो दे हैव स्टॉप्ड वाटर सप्लाई टू गाजा स्ट्रिप वाशिंगटन सेज इट डज नॉट प्लान टू सेंड ट्रूप्स टू इजराइल वाइल दे आर Preventing United Nations Security Council from protecting Palestinians or ending conflict. Presently, heavy conflicts are on in Zikim, Nir, Kafar, Rain, Mafalsin due new infiltration by the Palestinian militia. Also, the war is escalating in northern Palestine. Israeli army is moving towards Lebanon. they have already destroyed hezbollah observation post the palestinian casualties have reached close to 1000 while israeli troops have lost close to 125 to 130 israeli defense minister has said that israeli army is launching full scale war on gaza strip he further says we have abolished all rules of war our soldiers won't be held accountable for anything huge protests are on in arab countries in support of palestine now from the ukrainian war zone in south on kherson front due low weather conditions ukrainian activities have reduced towards nipper river island zones resulting in positional battle however ukrainians are continuing huge strikes with cannon fpv drones along novoka khovka bulshaya direction and also they are continuously trying to rebuild their bridge heads in eastern bank of nipper river they are continuing their strikes in rear of russian army in kharson choosing headquarters of nation depot logistic supply lines and communication center now on zaporizhia front towards rimivki salient by laws no significant changes though small scale skirmishes are continuing all along the battle line on zaporizhia front towards urikho sector the ukrainian army is concentrating on robotino and verbov line trying to expand west here ukrainian's counter offensive at novoproko Pofka did not gain any land. Ukrainians also carried out attack on relatively new battle front towards Kamenskiy sector, but without any gains. Russian army carried out attacks towards Pyatikhatki on the entire front of Stepo, Jerebyanki, Lobkov, Pyatikhatki area. The Russians. forced ukrainians out of many strongholds in east russians carried out massive attacks on avdivka almost in all direction in northeast northwest as well as southwest and inside the city itself they started the attack along with heavy artillery mlrs towards pirvo maisky and other regions russian army crossed railway line and secured positions towards step nov further up to birdy chief inside the city they advanced towards avdivka coke and a chemical plant both sides have incurred heavy losses in marinka also russians carried out a smaller scale counter attacks in south and captured two heights towards novo mikhailovka Ukrainians also advanced northwest of Opitne the Russian army counter attack from Severne direction failed towards Bakhmut heavy clashes going on towards Klishivka Andrivka line however no significant changes on the ground in north towards Liman direction Ukrainians launched almost 6 counter attacks towards Torsky and Serebryansky forestry however were repelled by the russians towards swatovo russian army made some good gains towards makivka and nevsky 
while in Kupyansk direction battle continues towards Sinkivka and Russian army made some small gains. Russian military launched series of attacks in various places of the Ukrainian especially towards Odessa while Ukrainians too continuing shelling in Russian regions north and eastern part in south however it seems that the intensity has reduced quite a lot. The present trend shows from the war zone that Russians now are in hurry before the onset of winter and their main attack as they have chosen is Audivka as well as Kupiansk Swatovo line while continuing auxiliary attack in rest of the regions while Ukrainians are still trying to break through on Kherson front as well as south of Bakhmut. The intensity of war is likely to increase and that's all from my side. Do comment if possible. Thanks.